I'm gonna be doing a painting in soft pastels. I've got my pastels laid out here. I've got 140 pound watercolor paper and we're gonna get started. I think we're gonna do a tropical scene. So let's, I'm gonna grab my gray chalk. I'm just gonna kind of lay out general idea of where things are. So I think I'm going to start here, maybe, maybe have a line here, comes back, maybe coming up with some of the tropical trees, maybe have a little ocean here and with the water coming oh, down somewhere like that and we'll have a beach here. All right, that's just very faint and it won't interfere with our, but it just sort of gives me a basic outline and we can change it if we need to. So let's start, we're gonna start with the, come back and come forward. So we'll start with the sky and let's find a nice bright blue sky. And we have to decide, do we want just a nice bright blue sky? Do we want some clouds in it? If you want clouds in it, you want to leave some of the white of the paper where you might see it. Now I'm going to have some tree line here, but we may see some of the sky behind the trees. So I'm going to likely put some blue in there and I'm going to kind of bring it down. I do have paper towel to clean my fingers and you can even use it for blending if you want. And I'm gonna start off a little, fairly light and we can keep making it darker, darker, darker. And, oh, let's see, that water will probably be, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe a horizon line right along there. So let's, and I think along that horizon line, I might be adding a little bit of my pinks just light. I'm going to do some blending. Give sort of a lavender look. Now when you do a water line, you want to make sure it's straight. You want to make sure it's not sort of, looks like it's pouring off the side of the paper. And like I said, so we can darken this, lighten it as much as we want. I'm gonna go back to the blues. I'm gonna bring it down just a little more. Since this is gonna be mostly green foliage, the blue is not gonna interfere. You need a little bit of yellow into it. And of course the combination is a uh, green. All right, I've got a different color blue here. It's more of a, and I'm gonna start. Maybe adding that. And you can mix your different colors on right on the palette. All right, I'm gonna go in and I've got white. And the white, I'm pushing pretty hard with that. And it's mixing with some of the blue in here. But wherever it's clear like the white here, it is staying fairly white. So we're gonna put some of these clouds in. And I am bringing it up into some of the blue and down in the bottom. And yes, we could have just used the white of the paper, but this gives us a chance to do some blending. Okay, now I'm pushing fairly hard, blending that chalk in, pastels. All right. And I'm gonna take bit of that pink. I'm going to go with a little bit lighter pink. And on the base of these clouds, 
not everywhere, but just here and there. Putting a little bit of pink glow on the bottom of these clouds. This one a little bit. And then here I'm going to just do a few streaky clouds through here. This we probably won't see over here more, but you may see a peek through the trees. All right, so we've got our basic sky in. I'm going to grab my paper towels. literally just I'm not cleaning my hands just wiping the excess off and like I said you can fold that paper and even use it to do some blending I'm going to do that right on the top of those clouds and what it does is it picks off some of that color you can see like that and it makes the top of those clouds a little brighter so maybe one right here a little bit so we've got that and I can even come back with some of my blue maybe darken it in here a little bit if you lose too much of your sky color you can always come back in and add more color all right just kind of brush that off the excess off. We can come in dark in that later. Right now, we're going to try to get some of the water in. I'm going to take my white, and sometimes these get dirty. It picks up the other colors, so I'm just wiping it off. And right across here, very, very hard, I'm pushing it. I want a distinct separation from the sky and the water. So by putting the white in underneath, when I come back in with my blue for my water, I can come straight across, get that straight line, and then I can kind of almost a rocking motion, sort of a, that's exaggerated, but I want to have some waves back here, way in the back. And I'm going to do the same thing with my finger. It's that rocking motion. And you can see how that color is blending in with the white, but it's still leaving distinct looking waves way in the back. I also have, this is rolled paper here, and you can buy this at your art supply. You can even come back in and pick off or do some blending, even pick off some of the colors here and there. So we've got the ocean back here. And that's beginning of the water. We'll bring that forward. Maybe we'll even put a little wave coming in. I want to establish a bit of the sand here. Back here, it's going to be a little darker. As we come forward, we can find a little bit lighter sand color. And this also creates depth in your painting by forming different planes. So you see you have one plane here and then you have the next one up here and that keeps like making it look like it's going way back into the distance. All right, that's just getting a general idea where the beach, the beach is actually gonna come around here. But I wanna get into the trees. So I'm going to start with a darker green. And here I'm going to start 
Oh, maybe. Let's see, right out here. Maybe something is growing along here. We can even bring it further down the beach. It doesn't have to be a straight line. The water, you need a straight line. This, you don't. And so it's going to come back. And I'm even going to grab a little bit of my black. Don't want a lot of it. I'm just going to here and there, just barely touching. I want to darken. So this is going to be in a lot of shadow. You can see how that black really darkens it in. Then I'm going to come back with my greens over top of it. This is just the base. And then I'm going to keep pulling it up. Here I don't want to pull it up too much. Here it's going to come up a lot higher. And this is some kind of trees or growth growing back in here. All right, where's my sand color? And let's see. I have the lighter sand here. And pull that back. And let's get oh, let's see. This. And you can even take some of the green. Get my medium green. You know, there could be a little seaweed or maybe some grasses growing along in there. And let's go with the that gives us a little base. I think I'm even gonna go in with some of my darker brown right along that edge there really set that down and pull a little bit of it up and then go across all right so we got our general base for that and like i said we're going to start from the back coming forward and you notice i left a little bit of light in here so that our trees show up and we're going to start with my middle green and we're going to kind of start pulling. And you can even use some of the browns to kind of pull a few things up. But right now, it's just, I'm trying to do some outlines. And we're going to have some tropical trees. Things coming out here. Let's see, where's my browns? And we're just establishing and we're just kind of blurring them out a little bit. We don't want them real distinct. These are small, it's in the background. We'll put a few more in the front coming up a little higher that's more distinct. Right now we're just trying to fill in where these growth is. We can even come back to my darker. Okay. We're not blurring, getting rid of them. We're just kind of tapping a little bit and blurring them out. So we got a baseline here. And we can start putting some of our taller Maybe we have a tropical tree here. You can use your finger to kind of blend that down. And then on the top, I'm going to use my deep 
deeper green. And we're going to get some distinct looking branches out and each one of those. And then now I do have pencils. And let me get that open. So you can go in and work with those a little bit. Kind of. And those are good for some details. In other words, putting some of them palm fronds on. And I can even come back with a little bit of yellow over top of it. Just catch, not everywhere, I don't want yellow. Just over top of it, it gives it a little bit of highlight color. So you can do that. Let's maybe, maybe there's a couple shooting up out of the center. All right, so we've got one there. I've even got a brown here where we can go in and even darken one side of this. So, so we got a distinct like that. And you can put several of those in. Let's see. Maybe, maybe there's one coming out here. Oh, another one here. That's got a whole grove of them here. Maybe one here. Let's have one sticking way out. Maybe a couple short ones here. Oh, let's bring that about the, just just above the ocean so we can see them over here. Oh, let's do, let's give him a little more distinct. And you can even use some of the browns, you know, some of the ones get a little too much sun. And how about, how about, oh, just something very bushy over here. Let's go back to our blue greens. Can even grab some green here. Can even come in darker colors down here and then make it even we don't know what that is it's just all right and maybe maybe there's even one oh let's see off here we can't even see Go back to my greens. Add a little browns in there, darken that. So there's one. We can't even see where it's coming. It's coming out from the side. So, and let's go work on some of these. All I'm doing is drawing the outline. And these are small. Let's go back. Just, 
I'm trying to get real distinct, just making it look like something's out here. Maybe a few extra ones on that one. Maybe make that trunk a little more distinct. All right, we've got a basic background. We can go work on that and you can play around with that as much as you want and give it all kinds of different details. But let's let's start working on our beach. And I think I am gonna have a couple people walking along the beach. So let's let's see what we can do about that. And let's see. How about how about Let's see. Let's give them somebody with them. I think I'm gonna, where's my brown here? Shadows on one side, and we're going to kind of just smudge them a little bit, and let's get some sand. We're going to darken them, we can work on them, but let's right now I want to work the sand color around them. Some of my lighter. edge. That maybe. I'll do some. 
They were walking along the edge of the water, some footprints. All right. Over here, I'm just gonna kinda do the light color right now, just to get rid of some of the white. We're gonna come in with some more details over in here, maybe put another palm tree. And then we're gonna become more distinct. we work on now. Where's my blue? Maybe give him an arm. I'll take a little white. his shirt a little bit. So he's walking along. And where's my kind of blowing. Let's go back. Where's my red? Where is my, here yeah, it is. Maybe I'll give her a pair of blue jeans. can change things that easily. As a red shirt comes down. And there's her legs. And let's come in. A little more beach. And where is my along the beach back I think we'll even make him a little bit taller now I'm going to come in and I'm going to start darkening things 
get my white. And I think over here, I have a little bit of a wave coming in, not much. Just something coming in the shore. And there's my blue. This, I'm gonna do that rocking motion again. Using the white of the paper, I do have some of the white chalk. And then here, I'm gonna kinda form a wave. It's kinda rolling over. And here. And then down here. Again. Okay, same rocking motion. Pushing that water back and then bringing this over. Then down here, I'm just kind of making little circles, that water bubbling up underneath that wave. And I can bring some of that over a little more. And I'm going to pull this back a little further. I doubt if I'm going to see a lot of this on the edge. I'll probably mat some of that. But whatever we see, I want to make sure I've got painted. So now I'm going to go in and get a little more distinct waves. A little harder. That's still that rocking motion. And out here, they're a lot smaller, a little shorter. I want it to look like it's going way back into the distance. And I'm still using that rock in motion. All right, along here, I'm gonna put a little blue against that and even bring it into the sand a little bit. And I can even take a little bit of the white And I'm going to pull that back. And then that kind of goes up. All right, and I think I'm going to mistake. All right, so we've got a couple people walk along the beach. We're going to add some more stuff, maybe some seagrass. some of the darker. I don't want one dull color. You can even take a touch of the brown. Maybe some sea oats or something here. Okay. Okay, dot, dot, dot. like that going along the beach. I'm going to darken underneath. If you have something there, you'll have a shadow under it and the sand. You may even have a little hill of sand. Maybe, maybe here. I have a bit of hill of sand. palm tree. Let's let's okay and I'm gonna do a lighter side. Kind of blend that. we may have something growing, some seagrass. Over 
here. And some maybe different areas where we have some seaweed. something pulling up from a few of these. You can even take some oh yellowish orange and pull a few up. And then kind of blend the bottom a little bit and it kind of sets them down. And we got something growing there. Alright, let's work on our palm tree. my brown here. Kind of deepen those. So now we can and I know we worked on all those little ones back there but take some of the yellow. Kind of, when you blend it, it'll highlight some of those. We're going to kind of blend these a little bit. Then we're going to do some dis more distinct ones. Let me go in with my middle green. These I'm pushing a little bit harder, getting a little more distinct. And they overlap. Some are and then more here. This one, I'm gonna. So we've got our palm tree here. We can even come in and this is sort of a half curve because their trees are sort of rough down the bottom. It's a little darker, a little better base. And I think we've just about got a painting that's finished. We can use our pencils to put some more details in. Maybe, maybe here underneath this water, get a little more distinct. So, we pretty much got a, our, like I says, the pencils are nice for a little more detail. But we got our nice palm trees, a couple people walking along the beach. Maybe a few things coming up from there. I think we can sign this one. Okay. For a little more highlight. I think we have a nice tropical painting here. And like I said, you can always go in, you can darken areas, you can, you know, you have more time to work on it. And let me get my mat. I think we have a pretty nice uh, little seascape here in uh, soft pastel. Hope you enjoyed that.